Fabulous. Good afternoon, everyone, or good morning, or whatever your time zone in, or good evening. I'm the Dean of the School of Engineering and Applied Science. My name is Carlene Hu, and here's what we have a simple agenda uh, today. And I'd like to thank you all for uh, joining us on this uh, Zoom uh, webinar. The, the simple agenda is I will give a big overview of the School of Engineering and Applied Science, and then we'll go out and uh, break out into, into breakout sessions for those of you who are interested in our programs, which are civil engineering, computer science, electrical and computer engineering, mechanical engineering, and engineering management. Our department chairs are online with us, and they will take you to the breakouts and give you some more information about uh, the, the different degree programs. There's also uh, the undecided engineering majors that will join me and, and my colleague, uh, the professional first year advisor, Joan Sars, in, in the breakout. So those of you who are undecided, you can, you can join us. So let me get started as I'd like to maximize the time you spend with, with our programs. So the first thing I need to do is to share my screen. Hope that everyone can see the screen. At a reasonable expectation. Somebody tell me you can see the screen. I see the Aaron, screen. Can you, can you see yes, the screen, Erin? I Great. can. I'm sorry. I was distracted by admitting people. <laughs> okay. Fantastic. Okay, here we go. So this is the School of Energy and Applied Science. It's an academic information session. Again, welcome. Um, I mentioned that I'm the dean. I'm a chemical engineer by training. And uh, with me, that will help me through this first session is our professional first year advisor, uh, Joan Starles. Simply put, we have six undergraduate degree programs. This is our structure. And we have, as I said, we have civil engineering, computer science, electrical and computer engineering, engineering management, mechanical engineering. An important thing for those, uh, for the parents who are joining us is that all our programs are what we call ABET accredited. It's important for us, if you, if you cannot come to campus, to sort of get an idea where we are on our beautiful campus in Spokane. We're located near Lake Arthur and what's called the Centennial Trail, which is a trail I like to go running or walking on. Uh, it's very beautiful and it's miles of trails that's right near our campus. We're located in the buildings known as Herrick and Pakar, and we have a close proximity to the Foley Library and our Youth Science Building. And we will, we're looking forward to having a new building come, come online in the fall of 2021. It's been referred to as the Integrated Science and Engineering Building. It's an opportunity for us to integrate science and engineering in a collaborative fashion, both for our faculty and for our students. This gives us an additional 82,000 square foot of space uh, to work with. This is a, um, an artist's rendition of what the building will look like when it comes on board. And you can see, hopefully, that we tend to have very open spaces so that the students and the faculty can gather in informal as well as, as formal venues. The important thing is that this building will give us what we call a quadrangle of buildings that emphasizes what's called the STEM for science, technology, engineering, and mathematical experiences. Over here is our PACAR building which we currently occupy, my office is in this building. And notice you can see a sky bridge. This is Herrick, which is the first engineering building. And Herrick has most of our, our faculty's offices right now, as well as uh, mathematics and, and, and physics faculty. And Herrick and Packer are connected by this sky bridge. When the integrated science and engineering building comes on board, there will also be a sky bridge that will connect over to Packer. And this is huge and to use, and this is the science building. So we will have over 270,000 um, square foot of space to promote, teach, do research for engineering and sciences. What is our mission? The School of Engineering and Applied Science mission is to produce broadly educated and capable engineers and computer scientists ready to contribute innovative solutions for a better world. And we hope you're willing to join us. So uh, here are some things about uh, the School of Engineering Applied Science at Gonzaga. We have excellence. We expect excellence in our academic and professional pursuits. We 
provide uh, leadership skills and critical thinking problem skills that is integrated throughout our curriculum. And of course, we are the Jesuit influence. The Jesuit influence is, um, is emphasized so our students engage in exploring best ways to serve society. There's an emphasis on forming men and women for others. And then there is the uh, emphasis on development of the whole person intellectually, spiritually, culturally, physically, and emotionally. And one of the things that our alumni and employers uh, uh, when we survey them, say about our graduates, is that our graduates, when compared to others, are much better prepared than their peers from other institutions. So while you can get engineering and computer science fundamental education at, at many other places, at, at Gonzaga, in C's, we, it is underscored by our Jesuit influence. Some big, 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 uh, big facts for you is we usually have about 200 uh, first year students. Overall, for the four years, 800 students total, and about 22% of our student body uh, is female. There are two entry paths. This, this excludes computer science. One is known as direct engineering. The other is called pre-engineering. The engineering majors, only majors, have what's called a common first year. And we provide multiple learning opportunities that includes internships, undergraduate research experience, and service learning experiences. We have a study abroad program that our students uh, usually uh, take advantage of in the spring of the sophomore year. One side effect of going away uh, on a study abroad is all the courses that you take are transferable to your current program of study. So you are taking courses that count towards your degree. We have this a senior design project, which is a culminating experience in the senior year and that engages both faculty and our industry in, in these projects. Many times the industry actually proposed some of these projects, our faculty proposed some as well, but the students are also allowed to self-propose a senior design project. Our faculty strive to help our students complete their degree program in four years. We have 35 faculty and lecturers, nine of which are female faculty. And when we look at our placement rate of our students, um, after they uh, finish their degree, we have greater than a 90% placement rate and some of our students do go on to graduate school. So we are about our students. We're student-centered, student success, and student experience. I share with you this rather visual slide. In the bottom, this is where our students experience what we call uh, their first year um, seminar experience, which involves different uh, studio experiences. And at the top is just some examples of our senior design projects, which ends and which culminates in uh, what we call our senior design exposition day. So from the very beginning of your study with us, we are exposing you to hands-on problem solving activities. To the very end of your experience, you are again getting the same message, but this time rather than uh, uh, faculty initiating the studio experiences, you are an, an industry and faculty are initiating the final senior design project. So I want to thank you for spending a few minutes with me. I'd like to stop. There may be an opportunity to take a few questions or, uh, as I said, we go straight into our breakout sessions so that uh, you can have a more personal uh, interaction with the faculty in our programs. Thank you for your attention. I'll stop sharing my screen and turn it over to Erin to see where we go from here. Thank you, Carleen. Um, that was a nice overview and welcome everybody. We're so excited you could join us today. Um, I have put a link in the chat. If you go to that link, it'll take you to the page with all of the Zoom links for the different academic sessions available after this and um, the different departments within the School of Engineering and Applied Science. You probably also got an email with this link, but I thought I would make it easy and just put that directly in the chat. And once you go to that page, you can choose which um, session you would like to go to. And you have about a five minute passing period, so you have time to, to jump over there. Um, I also wanted to say, I noticed some of you um, applied and were admitted to Gonzaga under majors that were not 
um, under the School of Engineering and Applied Science, and engineering is a direct admission program. So if you now have an interest in engineering, please email me and let me know that so we can review you for that admission. I'm going to put my email in the chat as well. It's hayes at gonzaga.edu. I'm Director of Undergraduate Admission. I would love to hear from you if you are interested in moving over to the engineering programs. Now, so, 